Alright, going back to another episode of this game. We are in the dark water port at the moment. Oh yeah, that's right. We talked to some of the fucking people that all look the same. It's a little whack. But it seems to be the starting point for the investigation, so. That's just Toten and Rudy Brothers. Clues, electrified, disturbing painting. <clears throat> I am interested to see where this game takes us. As it could be interesting. It could just be downright horrible. By what I've heard, the reviews are good. So, maybe not horrible. But I'm getting like evil within vibes from it. Bullshit going on. <clears throat> Dr. Fitzroy. Where the fuck is he? Let the police do their work. I have to talk to you again. Hey, the same goes for you, sir. Move along. Uh I asked about this last time. You're totally out of debt. I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36. <laughs> Darkwater Harbor. Ah. And so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. Yes. In any case, it's not very important. Cool. I can't answer that. You can't? What? Or you don't want to? Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't understand. Kirk. You're not okay, safe. um... It's a sign. Now we gotta go to the bar. We have to go to the bar. Prohibition is just a joke around here. Cool. That suits me fine. <coughs> it's reasonable. Ooh, can't see. Well, that was just fucking rude. Ooh. Mysterious lady smoking in the corner. Wonder who we're gonna have to talk to. In a Let's minute. get him another drink. He's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. I'm not a troublemaker. Hold the test strength. Hold the test. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. You saw what happened. He's the troublemaker. Oh, you're a true mainland. A real princess. Yes, I am. You strut around with your la di da ways, and then, as soon as the pressure arises, you start squealing. You don't have what it takes to drink my whiskey. You've got to earn it. So be it. I'm here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak Good. then. I reserve <clears throat> the right to answer or not. Cool. Uh. You know what? I'm gonna order Captain a drink. Fitzroy told me about a little pick me up. Oh, yeah? That must have been before you came looking for a fight in my bar. All right, fuck oh, you. come on. Because of a little tussle. I was even a tussle. Taking you it here him. is a privilege, and I grant the privilege to whoever I want. Anything else? I want a fucking drink. Uh, I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Oh, it's the fucking bitch Anything in the corner else? smoking. Ah, uh, it's fine out about that. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland <clears throat> for her paintings. Never understood why. <laughs> then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Uh, her vision was it so terrible the way I see it the truth is really a question of point of view what do you mean by that 
Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? <laughs> I've got what I need. Fuck Anything off, else? Hawkins. Um, the whale. The Why stranded whale. whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. When our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. Steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. Understood. Uh, can I have my drink now? Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. Oh, yeah? Oh, oh fuck. Drinking anything up? Want the drink. You know where this place is. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Ah, yes. Screams. My favorite. And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? Hmm. That'll be all for now. This is a goal. Do you like our song? Yes. <laughs> We're true sirens. We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. <laughs> they all disappeared. <laughs> oh. You exhausted the stocks. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last. The biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. Exactly. Oh. I've never heard this song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. It's a local legend. Watch what you say, young man. <laughs> that catch saved our island. Good, huh? Where's the proof? We're the proof. Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. What report? The one that's framed right <laughs> behind you. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. Lovely. And it was delicious. I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Good night. Stranger. So long. I had the wing of the girl. Big brain. The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. The Scylla returns to port <clears throat> to save dark water from famine. Uh, giving up hope. Returned late on Tuesday afternoon. No clue to me. The rest of the docks welcome the last whaling ship. They caught a big boy. So they caught a big ass whale that saved them from dying. So cool. Makes a warehouse for rent. Especially even with the stranded whale. <clears throat> Each person will leave a bottle of oil, so don't hesitate. Okay. Leave with a bottle of oil. So be it. What you looking at, stranger? You. The clientele <clears throat> is predominantly male. Tell me something I don't know. I meant nothing. 
I'm just wondering what a woman like you is doing in this flea trap. And I'm wondering what could be going through the head of the chump who goes to disturb her. Let me drink, stranger. Oh, absolutely not. Bitch. I told you to beat it. I told you to beat it. You know what? I'll go in the bathroom and fucking beat it if I want to now. Door. Go talk to fucking Big Brain over here. Hmm. Nightmares. Can you hear things the silent voices staff? whispering? We'll follow its reader and the appear at various mind. locations, gifted with its own consciousness, until it finds oh, a new can reader. Do that? Ah, that's <coughs> it. Maybe we should let him take it. No, no, the risks <laughs> are too high. <laughs> It's a fuck? book, after all. Pure knowledge. Guess no one accounted for this. Love it. Alright. Alright, we're done in here. Wait, what's the back door? Maybe it's just another way to leave, or... I'm not sure. Oh no, it's locked. How convenient. Go talk to Fitzroy. There's a big old house thing. Harbor Master. Bag over here. Anything? Cloth. Lovely. Go through this door. Fishing equipment. <laughs> Could do with some rust remover. Bro. A souvenir from a more prosperous era. I guess this blackboard hasn't been wiped for more than 70 years. Oh. A scylla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. Hmm. Unfortunate. The second volume teaches Alex some good practice in medical staff. It's pretty dope. All that shit. Hmm. I'm gonna go look around first, so. Got upstairs in your bedroom. You know, bedrooms are fucking. What a macabre souvenir. Fucking take them those. This man and Fitzroy could be twins. <clears throat> Maybe that is Captain Fitzroy. Dun dun dun. I brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests on the table next to you, but in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. Okay. Where are the cargo? Oh, I saying? brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo They're on the cargo next to you. They're on, on the, the table, table next, next to you. Ah, oh, this table over here. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. That's all I'll get. A few dates are still legible. 1890-1907, a partial date. The rest of the document is blacked out. Who'd want this information to be hidden? Probably the fucking cultist in the warehouse. Oh, I'm not gonna do it again. <sighs> the Go. Oh, did I just talk to you out here? From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors. The fights of the stranded whale. Even the antics of these war friends don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on dark water. <clears throat> Tell me what I can do to help you. Uh, unlocked answer. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? I'm surprised Charles Hawkins had goods to store, knowing that whaling stopped in 1847. I see that you're interested in the history of our island. 
Indeed, maritime activities ceased altogether at the end of the last century. I imagine that the Hawkins family had other types of contracts. But you don't know so. with whom? No. It was none of my business. <clears throat> uh, I'm looking for Warehouse 36. You know where it is? Damn. Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. The fuck is the jetty? Understood. You the know who the building there. belongs to, don't you? Uh, I have no idea. I don't have time to play guessing. I did not mean to do that, but... I'm investigating the death of a whole family. Oh, You're right. I'll be sassy. It belonged to Charles Hawkins. Ship owners from father to son. I see. That explains those loading manifests. Too bad I can't get much out of them. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. Yeah. I was looking that. at your photograph. The one of the man in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you, but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Your father? John no, the wooden Roy, leg. Captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're interested. Is that the thing? I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. Okie dokie, James. Going to that fucking warehouse. No way I gotta consult my diary. Uh, Skill to do that in a minute. Dark water, inhabitants. He's a captain. The harbor master too. Yeah, uh, the captain's pretty cool. Fuck the kid. I fucking hate how he looks. Racket. Shine whale. Occult. Ah, uh, the miraculous catch. Well, I thought we already looked at that. Manifests. Inventory. Knowledge. Learning. Atlas of the Atlantic Islands. We have two character points available. Uh, let's see. So we can do. Need like something to that. All right. Okay, we're going to the warehouse now. The fucking game rolling up. They moved it. Go to the warehouse now. Right, Where do you dude. think you're going? Uh, I'm not here to hinder your work, officer. It's gonna be Edward bitch. Pierce, private detective. Sorry, we're all a little on edge today. What are you doing here? I'm investigating the death of the Hawkins family. Darn it. Why do you want to drag up all that stuff again? My investigation has led me to this warehouse. That case was closed months ago. So? What more can you say about the death of the Hawkins family? Not much more than what everyone knows. I wasn't on the case. They were all burnt to death, right? Up at their place. The whole mansion went up in flames. Don't get it into your head to go wandering around up there. It's <coughs> dangerous. So, what do you mean by that? Pop, gonna go up there the only go. one left there is old Silas, and the accident has affected him badly. He can be unpredictable, especially if a stranger starts poking around the property. Is he a danger to the public? No, he's in his own home. Do yourself a favor, leave him well alone. Okay, I guess we're done here. Oh, I'm going to the warehouse now. I really want to talk to all these people. They're probably gonna fucking yell at me. You look depressed. Got your bow right there, Chief. You live here? Why did you do that, huh? <laughs> we saw what you did to St. Brendan. 
Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. How can I be the one who defaced your saint? I've just come ashore, you idiots. That's true. We're as drunk as lords. You bet. You could have gone by without us seeing you. Do not rile me. You can hardly stand up. He's right. We're no match. For the moment. For the moment. Their annoying is understandable. There's you, our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait, now that I think about it, it's got to be them. There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Quieter. That's all we need for them to hear us. What brings you to dark water? That statue represents your local saint. What do you mean by local, exactly? You wouldn't be looking down at us, like all townspeople do. Saint Brendan. He protected whalers and fishermen like us. Until those assholes defaced him. Isn't it a bit early for alcohol? We got nothing better to do anyway. There's not much work around here. Fitzroy gives us a few chores every now and again, but since the whaling station shut down, ain't a lot of jobs left around here. So we drink. The two guys behind you. What are they guarding? The bootleggers. Scum. The bootleggers. They're protecting their territory. From whom, I wonder? Probably you two fucking They really us. don't have a choice anyway. They're more scared of cat than an attack by drunken sailors. <laughs> if only they would kill each other. Well, yeah, wh who is cat? Yeah, this cat you mentioned. Is she their boss? Oh, hold on, hold on, just no, a minute. That pop the bitch thing. is nothing, uh, nothing at the bar. all. Yeah, we're done. I'm taking enough of your time. Let's see. We got fuck off. Uh, we're getting inside the warehouse now. No idea. You better keep it shut. <laughs> don't worry, we don't have a clear conscience. Quiet. What's oh. with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? We saw you talking to the two soaks. Go die of thirst, a lot of you. You'll stink less. Wow. I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. I guess it's going to be complicated. No, it's very simple, in fact. Fuck off. I don't give a damn about your racket. I just want to get into this warehouse. And we don't give a damn about you. Whatever your reason for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. I've got to get inside. It's your boss who sent me. Oh, yeah? And why didn't she say anything to us? She sent me to see who's filching her stock. I don't know what you're talking about. You got no proof to back up your claims. And I'd advise you against snitching. If I can't get rid of those two, I'll have to look for another way. How convenient. How could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? <laughs> Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. <coughs> now, with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. Wow. They're gonna fucking die eventually, but... <coughs> Alright. Gotta find another way. I guess. You can't understand. You're not safe in this place. Let's see, let's see. Big ass fucking town. Wonder why I live here though. Always moist. Smells like fish. Spot hidden skill allows you to detect hidden items in a close range. I didn't finish fucking reading yet. 
It looks like there's a way in under this grate. Well, what do you fucking do? Let me in. Uh, ladder. Okay, there's like a hidden item apparently. <gasps> hidden item, ratchet device. Oh, look at there, look first. This ratchet device seems to be usable. Bonkers, bro. A whale vertebra. Ooh. If the newspaper clipping in the bar is true, this bone is a real fossil. An old cogwheel. Rusty, but in working order. Seems about right. Okay, okay, okay. I could use this old... More. <sighs> drop down. No, I'm going up the ladder. All right. Oh wow! This handle will be perfect for the winch. Wowzers! Just need the fucking lever. Turn the handle. Looks like everything is in its place. All I have to do is turn this handle. Yeah, let's turn it. Ooh. Got to go down there. Oh, fucking yeet. That's just mysterious. Very excited. <coughs> You go in the water, okay. Oh no. <coughs> Smoke. It's coming from this oil. Yes. Hmm. Smells harmless, but should I beware of psychotropic effects? Love me some psychotropic events. Probably shouldn't be there any lighter in here. I don't know. Is that all that was in here? Alright, water it is. Ooh. So where's the other one there? Lord and Savior Cthulhu gonna show up? Oh no. I just like. I just like. Oh! Fuck out of here. Oh god, ooh. <gasps> what in the goddamn seaweed, dude? Very um, disturbing, I suppose. This say. is primitive. Very pretty. Lander. Assuming this is the warehouse. Oh, this place stinks. What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? Alright. That seems like a good point to end it. I know a lot about drunk people and lore of the island, which is lovely. We'll find out more in the next episode. Yes.